Hi everybody, all my followers, welcome to another video. So this video today, as you can probably see, is on a F10. I think this is a 2010, if I'm not mistaken, a 520 diesel, with the obviously 2 litre diesel. And um, right, long story short, I have this car here a few days ago, probably a week ago, uh, because the the owner of the car, which is a, a friend of mine at work, uh, was complaining that the car was losing power, uh, jerking only a bit, and if I'm not mistaken, was um, was actually uh, shutting down when coming to a stop, like intersections and stuff, as you'd slow down, um, coming to a stop, the car would shut down. Um, when it came around that time, uh, so like I said about a week ago, uh, we did a scan on the car, and was pretty much two faults in there, uh, two or three faults, I guess. Uh, anyway, uh, some of the faults they were related to the DPF. Uh, the other fault was related to the throttle body. Uh, I've cleaned the coats, and my advice at the time, because he only literally came to scan the car, because I had no time for more. I, I told him, look, it could have been a glitch, it could have been something, because he, sa he said that was not happening. It, it happened for for like a day or so, and then he never came back. So I said, look, just take the car, um, see how it goes, and uh, we'll my plan one day, and you come around, we'll, we'll do a check, um, and we'll see what's going on, and we'll try to figure out what's going on. So we kind of arranged that for a week later, to come around to clean the throttle body. I spoke with them at work in the meantime, and we agreed I would come around and we would inspect the throttle body, we'd scan the car, have a better look at life date and all that good stuff. The day he came, uh, when he turned up here, he said to me, look Louis, he's completely gone now. Uh, he said the fault came and now uh, turning the engine, the engine off and turning the engine back on, it does not fix it, so the car is running really bad. Um, idling, I've just moved the car from outside to here, this was like two days ago, uh, when they dropped me the car, so moving the car it looked okay, um, but what I want to do now is I'm going to scan the car, and um, actually I might going to go for a drive, I want to see what the car is doing, uh, we're going to go for a drive, uh, I have the Maxxis already plugged in, we'll have a look at the codes before we go, and uh, literally we'll go from there, try to figure out what, what's wrong with this. Okay guys, and I can feel it. I came for a drive and like a, uh, a steady, uh, steady speed like this, with my pedal like in a constant, in, a, in, a, in the same position all the time, the car starts to jerk. Like if you lose power, then it goes, then lose, then it goes. Um, and then when I put my foot down, let me try to replicate the problem. Obviously, you're not gonna feel it, but I can I can feel the problem now. Uh, let me see if I can make this to happen again. So it, it, definitely there is something wrong. Let me see if I can. Earlier back there, when I was doing it, I would put my foot down, and the car wouldn't respond. Uh, and then, and then, like two or three seconds later, would actually respond to the accelerator. But now it's kind of going fine. But definitely something is wrong with this car. I just uh, okay. So what? Okay. So what? What looks like is that if I drive the car. A little bit more harsh, or like if I stole it, like someone said uh, once on one of my videos. <laughs> uh, so if I drive a little bit more harsh, um, the 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 car drives fine. Um, I haven't I haven't seen nothing wrong with it. But when I slow down and I go to like 30 miles, 40 miles per hour, low acceleration, steady speed. After about 10-15 seconds driving like that, it starts to jerk, it starts to fail, to miss, like if it's misfiring, so it starts to do it. So what we're going to do now, while I'm here, uh, we're going to actually scan the car. Let me put it like that. So, so we're going to scan the car and um, 
see exactly what the problem is. And let's gonna see what's wrong with this. Okay, so I have exactly the two same uh, faults. Okay, now uh, the we have a permanent uh, for the papa for the DPF, and we have a intermittent for the electromotive throttle actuator position sensor signal, open or short circuit to hearth. Now. I believe I can ignore this DPF one because um, although the guy never did nothing to the car, speaking to him, um, I believe there is no DPF on this car. But when I get home, I will show you why. Uh, so I, I strongly believe this is going to be my problem. My um, 261. Let me see if there is a P code for this. Uh, No, there is there isn't a P code here for that. It must be one, but let's see if it's in the freeze frame. So it was telling me in there as well that uh, under information that uh, this fault will uh, prevent the DPF from regen. But like I said, I believe there is no DPF on this. Oh, there it is. So it's a P0122. So that's my P code. Um, and it happened 197 times. All the same, P0122, 197. Okay, so, so yeah, let's gonna go home and I'll show you first why I believe there is no DPF on this car, and then we're gonna have a look at that uh, at that issue with the throttle body. Okay, and I just got back home. Um, I couldn't replicate the fault, so what I've done before I take off, guys, was I delete the codes. The only code that stayed in there was the one for the DPF. Uh, like I said, I'm not really worried with that code. That code is just an information saying the DPF is getting to uh, its its life. It's just an information uh, that the ECU calculates uh, due to the the, the 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 mileage and all that stuff roughly when the DPF is 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 coming to an end of life, and that's just an information code, although it's a permanent code. But like I said, I've deleted the codes. That was the only code that stayed in there. But um, as I also said, I don't believe this car has a DPF uh, anymore. I'm going to show you why. Oh. Because of that, so uh, a DPF car tends to have a soot-free tailpipe. Okay, so that amount of soot on the exhaust uh, to me means that the DPF no longer uh, is no longer fitted to the car, uh, and therefore uh, my only code, my only possible fault uh, is going to be the throttle body. Okay. Um, so that's pretty much where we are at the moment. Uh, I'm gonna remove that uh, throttle body. Let's gonna inspect things around there um, and try to see if there's anything that points us to any direction. Like I said, from where we were parked when I first recorded uh, up to home, it never happened again. So I'm gonna have no faults on ECU. Let me let me have a look. Uh, there we go. So I only have one fault now. Okay. So so yeah, it's, it's it didn't happen. But uh, let's go inspect. Let's gonna see 
if there's anything we can figure out perhaps try to activate the throttle body see if it fails if, if everything runs okay but I want to get to it first before we go any further so I took the cover off and uh, I don't know guys if you've seen a video that I've done for a throttle body on an E65 uh, if not I will leave the link in the description below and I'm not really happy with what I'm seeing here and that's why I wanted to show you uh, all that oil in there look at that dripping from or coming from top here so for this oil to be down there you would have to get past the throttle body so not really a good sign so but we're gonna take it off remove all these out and um, and inspect but there is a lot of oil around this area uh, the plug down there is full of oil look at that so let's gonna let's kind of take it out and inspect okay guys and it's not looking good uh, so this is um, a fitting where the temperature sensor is look at this it's absolutely filthy with oil uh, but look at our throttle body look at this is absolutely covered in gunk so because this throttle body also sits in an angle like this most likely there is oil that went through that shaft into the electronics and I'm gonna have my electronics full of oil so for now because it's not failing all the time I'm gonna open it give it a good clean and go from there uh, but judging by the amount of oil in here um, we might had or we have a bad turbo I would say because it's way too much oil um, in here so maybe the turbo had failed in the past and this has not been cleaned or the turbo is on its way out one of the two but for now let's kind of focus on what I've been asked to do which is resolve this issue okay and we have a rather different throttle body here okay I haven't opened the throttle body yet but I'll be doing that soon however let me show you something when I was cleaning these because these plugs here they were full of oil as well I've seen this and I don't know if the phone is gonna be able to focus that but can you see that wire further back at the top that sort of white one can you see that I went through the insulation and the copper is already showing now my thing is I don't know where that was touching if that was touching metal which most likely it was which most likely it was because there's a weld on this look there's a weld bloody hell okay so there's a weld on this uh, AC pipe so it might be that this was like this and was touching exactly and was touching there so it was touching metal so most likely my throttle body is actually good we're gonna open it and clean it anyway just to make sure but I'm gonna strip this down and show you better exactly what I mean with that uh, exposed wire but I, I'm sure you could have seen that on camera uh, glad I've cleaned this uh, yeah this this is not rooted properly anyway because there's a clip in there at the back that was not clipped so let's gonna open this and check it better okay and uh, I really need to get this good at the euro million numbers haha <laughs> right so according to the diagrams I don't know how good it's gonna come out on the camera but according to the diagrams the signal wire from my throttle body is uh, a gray with a white strip I don't know if the camera is gonna actually show that but this is indeed it's a little bit discolored but it is a gray wire and then as I rotate you might gonna be able to see the white strip coming over and but another another thing that will show me that is because it's pin number three so pin number three I don't know if the it like shows right at the top so one two three and if that goes to there I'm sure you can hear that 
there we go so that just confirms and supports a little bit more that uh, this wire and actually if you go back uh, you might gonna see that the code was something for short to ground or something like that so this wire was definitely rubbing I strongly believe on that uh, air conditioning pipe uh, and that's why the fault was not always there uh, it, it was just certain positions vibration of the engine would touch the wire and bingo the fault would come up so we're gonna isolate the wire so we're gonna actually strip this um, and isolate this properly I've showed you many times how it's done uh, there's no other wires uh, here that have been touching it was only this wire every single other one is good uh, we're gonna isolate all this uh, wrap this again and as for the throttle body I'm not gonna be able to open this throttle body if I really have to I would but when I was trying to take the first screw off it snapped and I thought okay maybe just the one off when I've tried to take the next one I was looking on this side and they are not turning they are that tight that as I try to take them off they just snap so most likely they all gonna snap so I'm not gonna do nothing yet with this throttle body um, I'm just gonna guess it's gonna be good and um, and my fault was actually that uh, wire rubbing on that uh, air conditioning pipe um, shorting it to ground um, if I really have to, to do this obviously I, I would have to take it off drill the bolts and then put new bolts uh, but I, I think I'm gonna leave it for now um, hopefully the throttle body will be good um, but yeah that, that's what, what, what we're gonna do I'm not gonna touch this I'm gonna most likely advise the guy to replace the throttle body if the fault comes up again but I'm quite convinced and I, I really have a good feeling that this was my problem um, and uh, and that's it really so we're gonna put a we're gonna fix this put all, all, all everything together and then I'm gonna extensively test the car uh, make sure I don't get any more faults and, uh, and then we'll go from there really so hopefully that's my problem okay and uh, hold on I reroute the cable so the cable used to go down and then go over there uh, through there so what I've done is I just pulled the cable straight up put that clip in there which was somewhere at the back and obviously that one stays where it is but I reroute the cable um, it's not touching anything it's, it's absolutely tight it's not it's not moving at all so it's not going to be touching uh, nothing really um, and all I'm going to do now is put everything back on and then we'll go from there everything put in place and now we're gonna go for a drive so I um, I haven't measured wires from there to the sea or anything like that uh, there's no really point uh, what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna go for a drive and if I manage to get the problem to occur only once that means even if it happens once that means that was not my problem but I'm so I'm quite convinced that's gonna be my problem uh, or that was my problem that uh, uh, worn insulation on that wire that was touching the ground that was grounding that signal um, that throttle body uh, I'm not judging by the amount of oil and, and gunk in there I strongly believe that throttle body might, might be um, might be that he's gonna be on his way but uh, especially if oil got in there uh, but as I've showed you I couldn't open it easily so for now we're just gonna go for a test drive and see what happens see if I can replicate the problem uh, before that let's me so let's gonna start this engine okay started fine no issues at all let's just uh, scan DZCU once more see what's in there I don't know if I started to strip things down with the ECU on yes so ECU was still um, was still live when I start to unplug stuff uh, so let's gonna go back it's gonna erase these codes yes okay it's gonna read codes again okay so only my uh, TPF 
So let's gonna come off. I have a really low battery on my Maxi Cs. Let's gonna do that. Okay, let's gonna go for a drive and see what happens. Okay, everybody, and I just got back home from what 35 minutes roughly driving. So I drove the car for about 35 minutes. Uh, you're gonna see that we still have only that one fault for the DPF which I'm not worried about at all so there we go so the other fault is gone now if you go back at the start of the video you're gonna be able to see uh, I did check uh, the, the initial fault was actually uh, short to earth which when as I've showed you when you see that uh, was signal wire short to earth uh, or uh, signal throttle body signal short to earth I think it was um, so then as I've showed you that pin number three uh, which was my white and gray sorry gray with a white strip wire uh, was my signal wire was the wire that the insulation was worn out and was the wire that seems to be touching that metal pipe which everything coincides with the code short to earth so I think that was my problem in this 35 minutes driving I could not replicate the problem and I drove all, all sort of driving styles I drove a little bit harsh I, I've cruised I drove slowly um, I've tried myself to like you know press the pedal like try to make the car to sort of uh, for the, the engine to sort of twist and, and, and sort of you know uh, it never happened again uh, it never happened again um, the throttle body on these cars um, should only be used um, in two in two circumstances one is uh, when the car is regening is making regenerations so the throttle body should kind of close to allow more EGR so the engine warms up a little bit more and it should also be used when you shut down the engine so the throttle body closes down when you shut down the engine to allow a smoother shutting down and then it would open again normal driving the throttle body should be fully open so that's it really it shows, sorry, it shouldn't the signal wire shouldn't do nothing uh, should you shouldn't be on, on any other position so the fact that that was happening uh, while driving most likely I'm 99.9 I'm .9 convinced that was the issue and we sort it out at least I could not replicate the problem and I'm, I'm quite happy with the result so I'm not saying that throttle body somehow is now on his way or is not how to put it across that throttle body from what I've seen in there it might be that oil started to get into the electronics time will tell if he's gonna fail or not um, but for now he's working um, I'm gonna advise the, the owner of the car that there's way too much oil in there on that intake um, as I said uh, at the beginning of the video I think I mentioned that either the car had an issue in the past uh, with the turbo and the intercooler and the intake system has not been cleaned or there is a problem now with the turbo where the that is leaking oil somehow <coughs> through the bearings or whatever and um, <coughs> and that is putting oil into the intake um, there's way too much oil and gunk in there you know uh, way too much so I'm gonna advise him and uh, well it will be up to him but for now guys we found our issue and we repaired it and I do hope there's some information that you've seen me doing something here that might be helpful for you guys hope you all have learned something and um, and that's it hope you enjoyed the video if you have any questions any comments you know how it works put them below and like always thanks for watching